Hello fellow traders, it's Rafał Zuchowicz here and welcome to my channel. This video will be the most important video that you have ever seen. Trust me, it will change your life. This is the video on Ichimoku Kinkohyo, so-called Ichimoku clouds. At the beginning, let's get the pronunciation right. Ichimoku Kinkohyo. Exactly. So for those of you who maybe watch some Americans talking about Ichimoku, it's not Hayo, it's Hyo. So yeah, with the pronunciation out of our way, let's have a look at these sexy charts. So Ichimoku Kinko Hyo chart, isn't it beautiful? Indeed it is. Look at that. This is five minute charts. I know that Ichimoku was designed by Hosoda for daily charts and for daily candles. But I know that a lot of you on my channel are day traders, even scalpers. So I want to do examples, like give you examples on five minute charts. But of course, the best way to trade it is the high uh, time frames. But everything we will talk today will be on five minutes. But it's applicable through all the charts. Okay. What will you learn today? Let's talk about the agenda. At the beginning, we start with the history and bio of uh, the creator. Indicator itself. So we'll talk about uh, five lines, how they are made and why. So you will learn already at this point much more than you can find anywhere else, trust me. Then we will talk about three theories. I don't know, not a lot of people are talking about it, but this is like an essence, like the roots of uh, learning Ichimoku Kinko here. But everyone is concentrating on on the chart, just on these five lines, on the clouds, on some signals. But this is not what Ichimoku is about. Trust me. Have a look. First theory, it's a wave theory. That's the one that it's similar to Elliot wave theory, but at the same time, completely different. Another one price theory. The third one is the time theory. As uh, Hosoda said himself, the price is 100 times more important than the price. So we will look at that. Just remember that if you are not trading, looking at the time on your chart, but concentrating mostly on the price, you are not trading in the right way. It's a game changer, it's, it's magical, it's mystical when you start looking at the chart uh, in this way. And at the end, I would be honored to invite you to the private club, to Ichimoku private club, but we will talk about it at the end, members only. Goichi Hosoda. Born in 1898, died, unfortunately, the year I was born, 1982, so we never met. Ichimoku Sanjin, that's uh, his pen name later on, once he published his, uh, his work. Stock and commodities market reporter at the Miyako newspaper, later newspaper changed the name to Tokyo newspaper, so he didn't change the job. Because, you know, Japanese, they're very proud of, like, starting one job and continuing it for all their life. These days, maybe it's changing, but he's the old school one. 1936, after seven years of work, announces Ichimoku equilibrium table. And he makes some waves on the market. So he starts analyzing uh, markets according to his uh, seven years of work. Can you believe it? Seven years. How long have you been trading? How long have you been studying full-time charts? Seven years of work. 
and this is just the beginning. 2,000 students were working on creating this strategy. We need to remember that back then there were no computers to, to back up all of that. We're talking about uh, 1936. So this is before the war, Second World War. So 2,000 students helping him with the creation of charts, of course. Uh, the strategy was secret, but you need to make certain calculation to put all the five lines. So he probably divided the students into groups. So they didn't understand like how everything is created, but 2,000 of them helping him. Uh, after war, he changes his name to Ichimoku Sanjin. What well, a man in the mountain seas. So Ichimoku, it has clouds as well. So imagine you are high above in the mountains and you can see from above everything, even from above the clouds. You can see all the movement. So that's what he can see using his charts. That's what we can see these days as well. But of course, we need to know his original work to have the wisdom to follow this, um, this strat strategy, this uh, investment system. Idea sold to three friends for a big fortune with 10 years silence promise. <laughs> Imagine that, like three people, like very, very rich, like with a proper position in... Uh, in Tokyo, they offer him, they were their friends, his friends as well, that's how he called them in his book, my friends, that they convinced him to uh, teach him the strategy, but they signed the contract, he signed the contract because they pay him so much, that he will not release it to, to the public for 10 years, because he would be quite a loser paying so much money, uh, and then next day he will go and tell everyone, publish the book or something. So they wanted to uh, to have it privately. He kept the promise. He actually is writing in the book. He kept the promise for 20 years before he published the, uh, the first volume. After over 30 years, in general, uh, he publishes his work. And volume one, Ichimoku balance table. This is the beautiful work of his. Of course, this book made a lot of waves. People start flocking, uh, writing letters, coming in person. There was no internet, so no emails. Um, but everyone was very interested. It was like mind blowing for them. There is one story like uh, the guy got three books, and Hosoda asked him, uh, "Why did you buy three? And he said, "I've got two sons. They are young boys, but I want to give two copies to them when they grow up, when they are big enough to start trading, and one is for me." So people knew that this is something like, "Wow." So. Ichimoku means at the glance, at one glance. Kinko means balance. And Hyo means chart. So this is the chart. So basically, one look and you know everything. You know where the market is. You know whether to buy or sell or just hold this decision for now. The market might be indecisive. You will know everything just from looking at the chart. After initial success of his book, he decided to write more books. And that's what he did. And people got even more excited. He actually needed to write his books because what happened, there were so many questions. Imagine he wrote these books after like 50 years, 50 years of work. So you are working on something for 50 years. Professionally, it's not that, you know, after after work you you are a dentist and you've got two three hours at night after you put your kids to sleep and you can look at the charts for a little while before you fall asleep. No, that was his full job, plus his private life, his like entire life, fifty years of life, 
he committed to developing the strategy, to analyzing markets, hiring 2,000 students. It was unbelievable. I mean, this is unbelievable. And this is like the best kept secret ever. No one translated these books to, uh, to English. You don't have them anywhere else outside of, uh, of Japan. The prices are astrological if you want to buy one of them, but you wouldn't understand anything. Even the Japanese these days, they have difficulties to understand because it's, uh, it's a little bit, you know, almost 100 years old language. Um, yeah, but he got on fire and published even more books. <laughs> so, guys, there is seven volumes, let me tell you that. It's like a Bible Bible about uh, markets, how to read them, how to analyze them, how to digest them, how to look at them. It's, it's everything. It's, it's an investment uh, strategy, philosophy. I don't even know how to call it. It's, 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 it's amazing. There is so much into it. Unbelievable. So, seven volumes three are completely out of out of reach uh, out of uh, like publishing they they are in the national diet library if you want to if you want to read them probably some some private libraries as well but just to uh, just i just want you to understand how big this is 50 years of somebody's life completely devoted to one topic that's what we are talking about here today that's why i told you at the beginning that this video will be the most important video in your life plus we are just scratching the tip of the top over here in in, in this one if we want to get really deep that's why i'm creating the uh, ichimoku club are you excited already <laughs> it's just the beginning. Okay, trend following indicator. Let's talk a little bit about the indica indicator. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Senko Span A. In Japan, they call it one. Senko Span B. In Japan, they call it two. Uh, Chiko Span, 26 lagging span. We will get to that. Let's start with Japanese candlesticks, like a naked chart. So this is your chart. That's what you see when you like turn on the regular charts. And what can you read here? Can you can you see where the market is market is going? Is it falling markets? Is it raising mar markets? Bullish, bearish? Uh, have we reached the the bottom? Where? Where we're supposed to sell, take profits. Can you see any any of this? Just looking at the the chart per se, it's very hard, isn't it? You need to start putting some drawing, some some lines, support, resistance, all these things to make sense out of, out of it. Just you know, like like anything, you just need some background for the charts to for you to make sense. And the same. Wanted to do um, Hosoda basically. So he started with Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen, it, by the way, it took him two years just to calculate Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Two years. Two years' time. He was thinking for two years, thinking, calculating to find out these two numbers, which, we, uh, which he calls like mystical numbers. And we will see why. So Tenkan Sen represents uh, short-term inv uh, short investors. On this five-minute chart, you would say like scalpers, so people that would jump in and jump out very quickly after like few pips of profits. But of course, we should be talking about daily charts, so we are talking uh, about like nine days. So like five to ten days, these are short-term investors according to uh, Hosoda's calculations. And you can see on the chart, like the, the price is going around this uh, red line. And then, how do you calculate it? Basically, you take nine candles, 
from the current candle, you check the lowest low and the highest high and you take 50%. So high plus low from nine periods divided by two and you have 50%. And you can keep going, moving like that and every day, so that's what he would do. Like every day, put extra dot, another dot, another dot, another dot. It's like a drawing for kids. And then you have a line after a certain time. So day by day, one minute time, you put all these uh, all these lines, starting with Tenkan Sen. Next one, Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen is twenty six periods. These are our mid term investors. So Tenkan was the short. These are uh, mid term investors. You take twenty six candles, twenty six days periods back and do exactly the same. So it's different than moving average. There are no algorithms uh, checking like the closing of the candles or anything like in between of highs and lows. This is just the high and low from 26 and 50%. Easy as that, anyone can do that. Very easy to, to create. So that's your blue line on the charts. If you have charts, uh, of course, looking uh, the way they uh, they look on on my screen, and as you can see, the price is respecting this line like massively. It's it's going around here, then it's falling below, again respecting here, going through, coming back, sitting on the line, falling down, retesting, retesting again, breaking through, retesting going up again retesting and going up so you can see that this line is like a like a heart of the of the chart so everything is happening around this line because it's 26 it's very important number you will see as we go tenkan sen and kijun sen together now you have both lines uh, as a first two elements together on one chart and you can see that they are crossing each other. So Tenkan being like the smaller average, it will be always like a leading line. That's, that's how the people are calling in English, leading and baseline. So we have a leading line and we have a cross here. So that means uh, that we can buy whenever the lines are crossing. First, the price would be, uh, so this is like your, your way of thinking. The price is above the, Tenkan, that means that the short-term um, investors, like the scalpers, they are uh, in power, they are buying right now. If, if the price is below Tenkan, that means it's uh, the, the, uh, the bears are in power. The same in the short term. In the mid-term, the price would need to be above the Kijun Sen, then the buyers are in the power, the bulls uh, hold the market, when it falls below uh, Kijun, then the bears have control. The same here. You can see the bears got control like massively. Uh, in, in this place, it was like short term. There was no decision. And then the time was uh, playing the massive role in here. And that's why the time is <laughs> so important. And then we fall down. And uh, you can see that everyone, like the mid-term, the short-term, they start, the short-term short -term starts selling, the mid-term, they follow, and there was like a massive drop, uh, and so on and so forth. And now, now we have a signal to buy, because the price is above, uh, Tenkan is above Kijun, so all three aspects are facing the same direction. Let's see another element. Another one is Chico Span. Chico span is nothing else like the price, rep, uh, just shown as a as a line, not as a uh, Japanese candlesticks, and moved twenty six periods to the back to the past, and then you can see that uh, it's dancing with the with the current price. I mean the current actually price because Chico is the current price moved back is dancing with the price 26 periods uh, ago. So after we broke through, 
that's our signal to sell as well. We are bouncing off the price, then again, then again, look with uh, how the precise is Chico. F again, trying to break through without success, again, again, and then boom, with this candle, we broke through, moment of thinking, and then we are going up. So Chico gives you signal to buy or sell. When Chico is below, you are selling. When it's above, you are buying. And this is this is like a golden rule. Oh, it's called lagging span in English. Uh, today's closing price projected 26 days back. Then we have Kumo, so-called Ichimoku clouds. Hosoda or Ichimoku Sanjin, he didn't call it this way, he didn't call it an Ekumo, this is like a modern day's name. Uh, he called it resistance and support level. He was calling it actually like a fog. I remember in first, uh, in first book, he said that this is a fog, so we are forbidden to make any trading decisions or investing decisions. Uh, because it's fog, you cannot see anything. So we can call it cloud fog because in the clouds as well, it's hard to see. It's not, the view, it's not clear. It's not like, a, like we have a clear sky and we can see everything. The same, like imagine him, Ichimoku Sanjin, sitting on top of, this, uh, of the mountain and looking. If there is a lot of clouds, how can you see? You cannot see anything. You cannot see people. Uh, you cannot see the weather underneath. You cannot see... Um, the farmers uh, like seeding the, the rice or taking care of the rice and then the price of the rice, all these things because there's a lot of reference to uh, price uh, markets of course but when the sky is clear you can see everything, you can see exactly what's going on the same here, the sky is clear, no cloud boom, that's when you can make a decision and again, the same the same logic as before. If we are underneath, this is the sell. If we are above the cloud, you can be thinking of, of buying. So, pretty straightforward. And the cloud is Senko Span A. Senko Span A is the, uh, the top value. And Senko Span B, in Japan it would be 1 and 2. Um, but somehow in Western, it's, uh, we accommodated A and B. Uh, Senko span B, that would be the slower one. So here underneath and here above. So it's going like that. But on the next slide, you will see Senko span A. How do we create it? In case you want to practice writing or you want to have an understanding how it's, uh, how it's done. Tenkan Sen plus Kijun Sen divided by two. So you take like a midpoint of... Uh, what's in between of these two lines and plot it to, to the future 26 uh, days or candles. Senko span B, it's the same way as we were creating uh, Tenkan and Kijun. This time you take 52 periods back, divided by... Uh, sorry, you don't... Uh, Yes, so yes, you take the highest and the lowest, sorry, for the 22 uh, time periods, and you plot it into the future. So the same as you were creating Tenkan and, and, uh, and Kijun. And that's how you, how you get. And the area between these two lines, this is our cloud. It's can, it can be down cloud or up cloud. Depends on the price, of course. So this is our Ichimoku Kinko Hyo with all five lines on a chart. So now we can see. What can we see here? This is like a first look, first glance. Where are we? Above the cloud. The price is above the cloud. Tenkan is above uh, Kijun. Chico Span is above the price. This is a signal to the signal to buy. So we have a free way. You can see there is like, like nothing on our way. We can buy freely this market. 
Okay, but this is this is like nothing yet. Because we will be talking about the time and about the wave theory and about the price theory theory. So you would know as well not only like where to buy, but as well when to buy and when to exit at at what level to exit. Because I remember like a lot of times before traders would ask me uh, like okay so but where do you know when to exit because I exit the trade and then the price went so much further and I could make so much money but I didn't blah 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 how can I predict it how do I know if this will be a strong movement or the weak movement so you have all the answers in uh, in Ichimoku that's that's the beauty here that this is it's so complete that it's unbelievable. Let's start with the price theory, the first of our uh, three theories. Um, the price theory and the target. So we will be talking about the targets. Where can we get? Target V and T and an E. And then multiplications of E and some others. But let's not get so deep this time. Price target V, how do you calculate it? So it's you just measure from C to B. So this is our price movement. A, B, C, and then we are going to D, to our target. And our target can be target V, which is this distance between C and B, added to B. So you've got V, equals b plus c b minus c so b minus c give us this uh, amount here and we add it to b easy as that price target n this is the shape of n that's why we call it n before it was v because that's the that this is v this is n and now this time we calculate this distance between A and B and we add it to C. Then we will have the, the target basically. Next we are going from target N to price target E. Price target E, A, B, C again, and the E, that's like the longest target. And we calculated A, B, and we add it to, to B. So it will be like double the first impulse from, from the B, not from the C. And the formula is over here. Then we have target NT and the explanation why it's NT because of this. So yeah, Hosoda was making it like look uh, like a, sort of like a picture, you know. He was trying to make sense out of it, easier for uh, his students to to understand it. That's how he created these names. And again, so we have the NT equals C, so this one, plus C minus A. So basically we create this, uh, we add this distance up to, up to C. Price theory on our chart, our favorite chart. Just pay attention that we are all the time looking at the same, at the same chart. Nothing is changing. We started like from scratch, from the naked chart, and we are already, um, already here with the all five lines and with the price theory. So we are growing. And look at that. We fall, we broke through the clouds, retested the clouds, and then, boom, we calculated. This is our A, B, C. And now we are calculating D. This is our target V. And look at that. We are at V at this point. And 
price reacts massively. It's just like, wow. It actually bounced here and it went back all the way back to the, to the cloud. Next, we have the anti, then massive reaction, then again, respecting target V here, going below, retesting, below retesting, going again to NT, going back to V, falling to N, then going back to NT, going to N, NT again, and Kijun, and attacking target E. And now we have a change of the whole movement. So we were in a bearish market and now after achieving target E, we are in a bullish market. How amazing this is. Just think about it for a second. You've got everything here. You know exactly when to enter. You know where to exit, where you can take your targets, where it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And later, when you will understand as well the time theory, you will know exactly when. So you will know whether the market will go to target E or N or NT on V. Where are we? If, if, if there is a potential for more or not, it's really, really unbelievable. Okay, so let's move from, from the price theory to the wave theory. So the wave theory, again, it's uh, Hosoda was, uh, was talking about the Elliot uh, waves and explaining that uh, his wave understanding is a little bit different. And he created, uh, again, like pictures, basically, like for kids. The same with targets. Everything is very easy. Once you understand it, once you open your eyes, you practice a lot, you will see all of it at one glance. This is the idea, to see it at once. So we have the wave theory. I, V, N, P, Y, and S. And the S, not the... A lot of people is talking about this S. Some people are actually like, so is there wave S? Is there not? So stay tuned because I will show you the wave S. Wave I. It's a simple impulse. Up or down. Boom. This is your impulse. Price just going without hesitation. Or like here, boom, you remember. We fall up to here and then there was a pullback to the cloud. So this is our wave A. Simple as that. Then wave V. So wave V is actually made out of two I waves. So V shape, a wave built from two I waves. So you would have, boom, over here, you have a wave, a wave I and another I. This is actually more like an N, boom, boom, boom. But we will get to N, I'm already telling you about N before you know it. This is wave N. So it's impulse, pullback, and another impulse with lower low or higher high. Oh, I wrote ginger high. Yeah, it's not ginger high, it's a higher high, Mr. Ginger. Jinja Ninja, oh, there you go. You have the, we have the Japanese accent here. So, wave N, let's have a look. Boom, this is our wave N. We fall down, pull back, and another fall. Another wave N, that's the one we are looking at now. The wave Ns, that's the one we are actually looking for. They are very powerful, so the impulse is a powerful movement then the pullback, and we are waiting for the second impulse, hoping that it will be at least the length of the first one. Or you know already the theory of targets. So now, after this pullback, you are looking for these targets, you know, placed in certain time. P wave. From Western uh, technical analysis, it's a simple triangle or flag. This is an example of our P wave. As you can see, there is an impulse 
and then there is like indecisiveness like market doesn't know where to go and like waiting for the something happened for example like investors came in like there will be like new iphone announcement wow boom and then they are waiting the first investors came in they are waiting 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 and then there is actually a presentation and it's like a shitty iphone nothing happened you know like there was expectation it would be a folding iphone but nothing they came back to you know from iphone 11 to iphone 5 they want to make small iphones again the market is disappointed they don't see investors how uh, how the apple can sell it so this is the fall that's why the time is so important for hosoda because as you can see it's not the price that caused the the fall here it's the time that we were we got the news there were investors and then there was waiting waiting not like for for the price to come down so i can buy or anything like that it was waiting for the news it was waiting for something so here is the time and there was a massive fall so this is our p wave like a triangle and now we have y wave higher heights and lower lows ex expanding tri triangle so this is like i think no one likes it actually when market behaves like that because you don't know where it's going actually it's it's like uh, you know it's going up down then higher up lower low higher up it's like no one knows you know are we going up are we going down it's like going a little bit higher a little bit lower a little bit higher so taking all the stop losses uh, it's trading in a range but not really like getting out of the range all the time it's very difficult market at this point so also i call it a v wave because it has a shape of v uh, of y sorry y uh, y wave uh, so again higher heights and lower lows expanding triangle and now there is an s wave where do you think on this chart is s wave would you like to pause the video and uh, and tell me which one looks like an s this is the down trend so i will tell you that the s will be uh, looking more like a z over here but let's have a look are you ready this is our z <laughs> this is our s wave so higher top lower bottom lower top in uptrend opposite so it would look the uh, opposite um, in an uptrend this is uh, s s wave it's a very important wave uh, it's turning the market upside down basically very often that's why maybe people are not talking about it so much now the time the time theory the most important is time literally hosoda wrote i think in volume one that time is like without exaggeration 100 times more important and i told you already why now let's have a look basic numbers so it's a little bit like simple and complicated at the same time and uh, because we have before i show you this uh, little numbers number nine 17 and 26 as the base numbers but he's talking about 9 and 26 as a mystical numbers and what does it remind you of yeah exactly of tenkan and uh, kijun so tenkan sen and kijun sen they are 9 and uh, 26 and then 17 is like a number between uh, and it's 9 plus 9 minus 1 because always when you add some numbers to each other one to another you need to take uh, like the candle from between away so nine meaning 
nine periods and in one direction let's say we we have a wave n and there is nine candles up and then nine candles down but we count the top candle twice so that's why it's nine and nine but the middle one is counted twice so it's only 17 candles um, and as well it's like nine plus 17 is, uh, is, is, is 26 but in this case uh, you don't deduct anything that's why it should be calculated in this way like nine plus nine it's actually 18 minus one this is the right uh, in my opinion uh, thinking thinking about it okay then we have the compound numbers uh, plus the symbols that's from the original writing of Hosoda that's how he would instead of putting the numbers because you know everything was secret uh, so he didn't want to put the numbers on the chart so people didn't know so he would put the X this triangle like the uh, toilets <laughs> sign so you can think about it like don't enter to any of the toilets they are under management of mrs K or mr cleaner so yeah this is how it is compound numbers 33 42 51 and so on and so forth compound because 33 is 17 plus 17 again minus one so if we have two numbers we need to deduct one 26 plus 17 it's minus one 26 plus 26 again minus one is 51 and you remember 52 that was uh, our cloud senko span b yeah again here uh, 33 times 2 minus 1 65 and 76 this is like the whole cycle uh, which we talk about it's three times 26 so you can see here full cycle three times 26 so 26 26 26 it gives us 76 and it's uh, on this drawing you can see here on this chart like we have a current price and again the cloud is 26 forward chico span is 52 uh, sorry it's uh, 22 uh, back and the calculation of the senko span b it's 52 back so in total we have 76 so we are looking again ichimoku like at one glance looking from above from the mountain we can see this the whole cycle at once 76 at once time theory plus wave theory this is uh, this is not hosoda this is another uh, another book where I took this uh, chart from. Oh, sorry, and uh, it's saying that the I wave can be equal of another I wave, so we can have exactly the same movement. Again, I wave equals V wave. That's how we use it. We calculate the I, and then we we can expect that the v wave will be the same so if that was 9 or 17 26 42 we can expect that this v wave will be the same number that's how we can predict we we know where to look for targets i mean not where when to look for targets because we already know where we have our levels but now thanks to this we know when to look for uh, for targets and if they align bingo this is our target and so on and so forth i uh, equals uh, n v equals n so you have uh, 10 different examples and i know some more i will tell you in our secret ichimoku club Let's put it to test, shall we? What about live test? I think so. So this is our chart that we are looking at all the time. 
And at the time I'm recording this video, it's weekend, it's Sunday, so the market is not moving, so I cannot uh, like sit down with you and show you, plus this video will be massively long. Um, so let's use this chart and let's see on Monday what will happen. Let's let's have a let's have a fun. N. This is our our wave N. But now, how far can it go? We need to calculate A, of course. This is our point A, our point B, C, and our point D, which is unknown for now. So we just know that we are going up. But where is D? Is it V target? Is it N? Is it E? Or is it NT? We need to calculate all of them. Let's do it. This is our calculation using the formula I gave you. So now we have the levels, but we need to find out which one will be, will be true. We need to use the, the time theory here as well. And combining all of that, then we can see uh, where and when to look uh, for the for the target we have a weekend as i said so the market after weekend might be you know distorted but hey let's have fun with it yeah okay guys so let's now make like a real calculations on the charts we are using an indicator to calculate the targets for us so we don't need to calculate them every time one by one that's why we have the indicator for that and it shows us perfectly NT it's exactly the one that we calculated this is target V and N at the same place and this is target E so we can see target E between 37 and 63 that's 26 if we add another 26, it's good to it's good to multiply target E as well. And so that would be 89. 89. So our target E times 2 would be 89. So just above this uh, this highs. We can check the time. This is our bottom and counting from the bottom we see that we have wave i correction and then there is wave n the correction is at 12 so almost 13 and 13 is 26 divided by 2 or 9 plus 5 because 5 was considered by Hosoda as well as a short wave. So 9 plus 5 is 14 minus 1. Always minus 1 because we count this candle twice. So we have 13. Um, look, looking good. So time-wise it, it's looking good. Wave-wise it's looking good. According to our lines our charts let's have a look what's happening here we have a beautiful wave crossing the uh, kijun so kijun sen there is a retest of kijun sen tenkan tenkan sen is crossing so we have a beautiful cross unfortunately we are under the cloud but look at the chico Chico with this candle closed above the price and above the Tenkan with this candle crossed above the cloud and above the uh, Kijun Sen so very nice little trade over here okay this is it's Sunday today so I will need to wait until Monday so I'll pause this video now and then play it and we will see what happened 
boom we open with a gap and look where we open e second e crazy massive targets massive targets we have 33 34 uh, period here as well beautiful really nice shocked <laughs> you should be oh it was amazing wasn't it really i didn't even expect it to go so high but it's dax it was a weekend so we gapped a lot uh target e number two this is ichimoku amazing i love it so guys as i said at the beginning join the club i'm creating this uh, ichimoku uh, private club and you are all more than welcome to join and learn market trading secrets that they don't want you to know about for me it's clear this is this has been kept as a secret there's not much information about it japanese event they don't uh, they don't know much it's uh, like super expensive the books first of all hard to get nothing was translated to to english how can you know these things if there is i don't know there are some books on ichimoku but it's just about the charts no one is even mentioning the time theory the wave theory like price theory like what is this and as i as i told you before this is just the tip of the top there is much more that we will talk about later so the benefits of joining of course you will surround yourself with like-minded people and we all know that uh, we are the average of our best uh, five friends so think about your five friends yeah so if you want if you need some more some new friends this is the place to be meetings minimum three times a week so i'm planning i think monday wednesday friday Should, sounds good to me at least uh, like evening london time we would meet we would look at the markets what happens what's going on where are we we will we will learn we will analyze we will read the uh, read the books as well we'll try to forecast the markets so we can play some trades in the future but be careful don't get overexcited Hosoda himself said that you need two years actually to study his book before you can really be confident but you know these days we have electronics we don't need to make all these drawings so let's not be so strict on strict on our, our ourselves learn the wisdom of the market ichimoku plus so as i said before it's a massive wisdom and the plus means that there are some observations my private observations uh, i will share it with you as well that you cannot find in uh, in the books this is something from like a new a new era and it works beautifully really sometimes it's like really it's like you cannot believe that it, it's happening you know you make the forecast and then boom it's exactly according to the forecast and every time every time you are being surprised it's it's really awesome uh, join the one percent so by one percent i mean one percent of people who has access to, to this kind of information not one percent of like winning traders because uh, there's more winning traders you can use other strategies you can be a successful trader but this is something more than just being a successful trader this is like a wisdom of the market you can really make a i hope i hope we can make a fortune here because by the one percent i mean as well you know like being on the on the top of the chain so we can share with other people i don't mean here like you know earn money and supercars blah 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 all this bullshit this is this is not for us this club is to is for like-minded people for people who want to make money and want to you know share and make good so that's with where we are aiming let's do it together uh, never stop growing so you know we need to educate ourselves all the time 
grow, grow, grow. Make friends from all over the world. I have friends from Australia, North America, South America, Central America, from Africa, Nigeria, Ethiopia, uh, Chile, from, from Europe. I'm being blessed, really. It's, it's a beautiful experience. I wish you the same and I hope there will be people from all over the world and this club will be really amazing. This is my dream. That's, that's what, I, what I want from this uh, to happen for, for me and for, for you as well. And of course, much, much more uh, that you can, you can only imagine and experience once, uh, once you are a member. So head uh, to my website, rafazuchowicz.com, all the information, how to join the club, uh, you will find over there. And uh, let's start as soon as possible. I'm thinking from, uh, from the March, this is uh, mid of February. So all the, uh, all the new members, whoever is starting now, and uh, I, will, I will have a chat with you and then uh, we will agree on, on some best timing. But as I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this is like for now, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and uh, there will be some recording, most likely, for those who, uh, who missed something or some notes. Uh, I'll try to do some one-on-one -on -one as well, to see where each individual is. And uh, I'm super excited, really. It's going to be a, a beautiful project. Okay, guys, all the best with your trading and uh, see you soon.